Welcome to the craft. Today we're going to make a lovely piece of abstract art. This is a great fun way to do it. We're using credit cards and paints. So I'm going to show you just how to do it. You need a piece of card. Paper will do if you want. Um, I am putting a border around the edge of it with masking tape. You can use cello tape if you want. This isn't totally necessary, but I always think it makes it look nice at the end. Any piece of card or paper or cardboard will do. I'm doing this quite big for demonstration purposes. Use any kind of paint you have in the house. Household paint, supermarket paint, whatever you've got. Pick about <clears throat> two or three colours. As you can see, these are all quite done. Give them a little squirt here and there. Any colours, one, two, three, we'll go for another one. There we are. Small amounts. <clears throat> now, if you use an old credit card, make sure it's old. <laughs> Don't use your mum's best credit card. Hold your credit card up straight. Not at a slant, but up straight, perpendicular. And just wish it through. Now, go to the edges because that makes a nice shape. Think about how you're going to do it. Am I going to smudge it all together? If you turn them all together, it'll just turn into mud. But if you bring it down, you can control how the paint goes. Bring in another colour. Bring in a bit of this. Now if you mix them too much, now I'm looking here, maybe I could do with a darker colour. So I'll just use whatever this is. Oop, just fell out already. Some gold. Decide how you're going to do it. Stripes. Decide how you're going to mix it. Do I have to do with some red here? So I'm going to scrape some red up in here just to bring my eye up here. You could decide to use warm colours, cold colours, whatever you want. So have fun swishing about with your credit card and leave it to dry. Okay? Now, here's one that I've let dry already. Okay, so I am going to peel off the mask here. You can see now that the masking tape gives a nice edge to it. And some more down here. Masking tape or cell tape or whatever you've got. Again, not totally necessary, but nice to do. Last bit over here, I'm just peeling it off. Now you can use whatever colours you have about. Next, take a crayon or a marker or a felt tip, whatever you want really, and pick some of the areas that don't have so much going on in it. I'm thinking this white area here, maybe this light area here, and add some detail that's going to draw your eye in. Now you can use stars, squares, stripes, whatever. I'm just going to use a bit of a scribble here. Random. I'm using black because it's going to sit out. This looks a bit like, a, I don't know, a leopard spots. Big ones, little ones. And I'm going to taper it off into a point. Just to make it... Now, I said down here was a little bit white, so I'm going to do the same here. Just a few wee scribbles. Always go with an odd number. Don't make them too regimented. Filling up these little areas here. Step back, see how it's going, how do you like it? And like all artists, always sign with your artist's signature. Okay, on the bottom right hand corner. And date it. So in years to come, when it's worth millions, Okay, have fun and enjoy doing this today.